hey, I'm going to do a short uh, piano improvisation here uh, for you in a minute. Uh, I wanted to bring up the topic of AI as it relates to music, uh, because of course we're asking the question uh, um, of AI really in a lot of different places. Um, the one thing about AI art uh, is that if we're, we're telling people that it's art and we're not trying to convince them that it's of something real, um, I don't necessarily see anything ethically wrong with that, uh, as long as we disclose that uh, it was made by AI, I think, um, and not try to pass it off as you know a real photo of, of a famous person just to trick people. Yeah. So uh, AI making art is just as good as anybody else making art, really. Um, the, the, the parameters might be a little bit different uh, simply because uh, there are certain things that we would sort of intuitively assume as humans, which is that the music is expressive of something, right? Now, AI might sort of know that as an as a abstract concept, but the AI is not uh, playing from, let's say, an inner need to express itself, right? If, <laughs> if, I, leave a, if I leave the AI alone over there, it's not gonna start wondering about life and start playing music and trying to <laughs> figure things out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, humans, of course, we are very different. And the reason music exists is for humans, right? Um, if, like I said, if we were to create a, you know, some super intelligent AI, uh, there's no reason to think that they would have music as something that they just did for fun or for various cultural reasons, right? Um, so uh, it's really about uh, the, the human aspect, and even if you are producing something with AI, you're still trying to, to reach the human in some way. Um, so uh, for, uh, as a human, speaking as a human, I guess, uh, my prompts might be a little bit different from what an AI might, might uh, consider useful. So for me, um, the first thing I want to get in touch with is a, is a feeling. Um, and that's a pretty broad, so I'll, I, I'll sometimes maybe try to narrow that down, a specific feeling, maybe a specific time um, that, that happened to me. So I'm already starting from my own, my own experience. Um, and I also have heard music before, so I'm going to be playing music that is not, you know, uh, invented completely out of scratch here. Uh, you're going to hear all kinds of influences in it. Um, and that doesn't need to be specifically prompted <laughs> uh, to me because those are just going to come out as I'm playing. So, um, so as the the human, then we want to we still want to give ourselves prompts, but those things can be emotional. Um, they can have a different connection uh, to you than they would to to, to an AI program. Okay, so. Uh, I was thinking, well, what kind of prompts can I give myself today just to do a short short improvisation here? Um, uh, I, I have a, a style or a, or a genre in mind, and that is the nocturne, uh, which, uh, of course, uh, if you are familiar with piano music, you know a lot of composers compose, but of course Chopin is one of the most well-known composer of nocturnes. And I like the idea of the nocturne is, uh, because it's going to have some sort of themes that carry through, but it's also going to feel very improvisatory. Um, also very expressive in the right hand, usually some sort of beautiful melody there. Um, so there will be a melody. I can't guarantee it will be beautiful. So uh, the nocturne is sort of my, uh, my genre, I guess. That's kind of what I'm prompting myself with there. And uh, as far as the emotional bit, really, um, that's a little bit trickier to explain. Um, and that's not always something that you have to explain to people either, right? Whatever prompt you have, you don't have to reveal that to the world. You can just use, you, know, you can use it. So um, my prompt, I think on the, on the emotional part will be just a sort of like sense of um, immateriality, <laughs> which is to say that uh, we, we believe that we are grasping onto material things, but uh, but um, they are sort of uh, slowly, only anyway, becoming uh, non-existent. That's that's <laughs> that's my prompt. Uh, so anyway, um, let's see if I can put something together. I'll try not to play too long today for this one. So uh, would love to hear your thoughts about AI in the comments. Uh, tell me what you think if it's something that will replace uh, real people someday or not.
Which parts of that you enjoyed, uh, and I'll talk to you later.